to our own particular politicians. All right. Uh, I want to talk about why the war in Syria is our concern here in Australia. Um, Syria, for many people, is a country on the other side of the world that, if it catches our attention all from the media and the politicians, is the setting of yet another Middle East crisis with the same mix of ingredients that all these incidents have. You've got religious fanatics, you've got a dictator that won't go and is taking it out on the oppressed masses, and you've got a cast of big powers huffing and puffing around trying to work out who's going to get the advantage out of it. So it's no wonder a lot of people might say, a curse on all your houses, or it's none of our business, let's just get along with our normal, ordinary lives here in Australia. But the war in Syria is a part of our world, and we're already involved, and what's going on in Syria, and the outcomes that come out of this, are going to affect us all. And I'd like to start, first of all, with, with the media, what we've seen with that, is one of the common things is the dictator Assad killing tens of thousands of children, men and, and women. Um, despite despite these lies and fabrications being repeatedly shown to be false and fabricated, is that is the story that is still peddled out in the media. And then we've got the idea of the use of gas, where Assad is apparently going to use gas to poison his own people. Lies! Not, not only is it, is it lies, once again it has been shown to be lies. The, the three Syrian army al-Qaeda types have already themselves shown how they want to do it. Um, but it has made no difference to the story that they keep peddling. And what we've found as a group anyway is we've approached uh, media organisations such as ABC and SBS and they say, sorry, our authorised sources are Al Jazeera. The voice, of, the voice of Qatari foreign policy around the world. Or it's the Washington Post or the New York Times, the voice of the US State Department to the world. The or, the B, or the BBC, the voice of United British Kingdom British imperialism. All them on the same thing. So they don't want to hear anything from anywhere else. We've had Mother Agnes out here who has had the chance to talk to Bob Carr's member of staff, to Christine Milner, leader of the Greens, and Julie Bishop, the, the Conservative's foreign minister. They know the truth, but they serve a bigger truth, which is the interest as loyal servants of imperialism. So that is their truth. It's not the truth on the ground, it is their truth. So I have to say, if, if the media is so capable of manipulating opinion, setting the news story for us about Syria here, what else do they manipulate and control a story of? Do they manipulate the stories that get us to decide who and what we vote for? You've only got to look at what's gone in the last few years with with a Julia Gillard, for who I don't have much time for, I think they've all been weak, but they're also nominated by the Americans. 